Hurricane Hillary. There it is there. This is current time. It's, uh, if you can see in there, it's 1600 hours on a Friday and by Sunday it should be, there could be nothing. That could be right on top of us also. We are an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Saturday about lunchtime and it's just starting. Look outside. Boys just got back, we've stocked up on food. We are going to bunker down here in our Airbnb. We've prepped Catalpa, everything's all good so hopefully, fingers crossed, the boat is okay in the boat yard. Okay, Lee and I are just going to go for a ride. See what it looks like down in the near the water because it's probably hours before the storm is supposed to see the remnants of uh, Hurricane Hillary. So we're going to go and just have a little bit of a look down around the water and see if there is any signs of it coming. I think we're going to get really wet. Little spots. I'm getting like water up all up me. Oh. have little left-handers running along here. Oh, look what I've got with them. <laughs> Sarah's like just got a, she's, she's got a bit of wet bottom. Oh, it's all dirty. Oh, how did that happen? It's on the back of the bike and you're riding through puddles. Six or seven o'clock and just looking at the ocean. It's very calm. It's very calm out there. If predicted correctly, we should be seeing anywhere up to 50, 60 knots come through here with a five meter swell. When Hurricane Hillary hits us tomorrow morning, probably 24 hours from now. <laughs> no, no, gracias. Thank you. There you go, I could have brought Sarah a rise. Oh, I knew she'd get upset. I'm going to have to go and chase this guy down. Hold on, jump on, we'll go follow him. I'm I had to go get Sarah a rose. I don't need a rose. Predicted forecast for that area. The internet's been going on and off, and the power's been going on and off. But I think they had gust of winds of up to 56 knots last night, and it should be up to about 60 knots, they say. The cyclone Hillary or storm has hit, so let's go check it outside. All right, guys, there's enough wind to blow the hair off and hit me. I'm struggling to look into the camera because sand is just coming flying across here. But if you look out to the back, out over here, this is the Bay of Puerto Penasco. Oh. Hurricanes, nature's most powerful storms. These swirling giants born over the warm ocean bring strong winds, heavy rain and destruction in their path. Lucky for us, it didn't hit too bad. The best part about the hurricane is not having to do boat works, but we are stuck inside, which makes some of us go a little bit crazy. As it moved over cooler waters off of central Baja, it lost strength and eventually made landfall as a tropical storm. At one point, Hillary was a major category four hurricane over northern Baja. So it was pretty lucky for us, it didn't hit too bad. Just a little bit of rain and some strong winds. Some nice little waves running along the wall. We should have got our surfboards out. We haven't seen waves in ages. Some of the streets are closed. A lot of the shops are all closed and a um, few, few things have fallen down, but not too bad. I mean, it hasn't been too much damage. I think we've had like 60, 60 knot winds, hardly any rain. And this is the result. Not much difference. Here's some trees that have fallen down. I guess it was obviously not as bad as they thought it might be, so... But even though it wasn't as bad as predicted, there was still some damage like this poor restaurant.
gonna go and check on Catalpa and see what the boatyard looks like. Catalpa was fine and we were super impressed with how the team at Crubella's boatyard prepared for the hurricane. We keep going on about my world, I keep drinking it through the videos because we absolutely love it and we wouldn't show it to you guys if we didn't. It's seriously a part of our daily ritual, our morning routine and we love mud water because they are all about healthy habits. After Hurricane Hillary had passed, we were back into the boat projects and starting our day right with our favourite morning ritual mud water. Whether we are sailing or in the boatyard working, this is how we get energised and focused for our day ahead. Pulling the boat apart there, Bella. Finally getting rid of the blue stripe. Now we've got a yellow stripe. We go on the other side. What's Taj doing over here? Looking good, mate. Taj's job was to remove the little pimples with the dye grinder. They weren't big, but there were quite a few. Only really small, just in the surface. She's nearly there. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this girl go. Anyone who thinks she wants to get home for a prawn lunch, she has stripped it off. Now Dad's got to come along and clean it up. Because no one wanted the big blue stripe at the bottom. Now the two top ones. Oh, and Bella's mentioning the two top ones. She doesn't like either. Did you show, show the nice smooth part? This was a time consuming job, but so rewarding. I think it looks way nicer without the blue stripe on the bottom. some cold drinks because they're dying here so am I. Taj is uh, still going away at all the little pimples on the bottom. Bella's just removing the blue stripes and uh, we're itching to do some boat work on the on the aesthetic side of things but we are just so bogged down with taking care of the dirty work which is below the waterline, osmosis. Uh, we will probably buff the whole scenes. We've removed all the uh, the the stickers and we've had to lightly sand it um, so it doesn't stain and whatnot and even though we're in the yard we'll give it a buff up and seal the seal the gel coat and then move on to some fun projects so I feel like we haven't done anything but 
That's how it is. In that first year of love with your new boat, there's a lot of uh, gremlins to get rid of. We want to get rid of them so they don't slow us up down the path. In, in this Airbnb for nearly, I think a month. A month? And we are moving out today. So we've had two units. It was an August special. We got it super cheap and um, it's gone up in price. So we're moving back on the boat. We've hired a car and we're going to do a run to Phoenix today as well. So we're moving out of here, putting all our stuff on the boat and then we're going to drive to Phoenix, stay there for two days and then come back again and get back into the boat work. Doing all the dirty work underneath. So all the antifouls removed. There's still some sanding and there's still dirty work to go, but the bulk of it is is done and it's been really really nice to have somewhere to come back to. It's Lee in my room, everything's all packed up. We had another room in here and then the kids actually had their own apartment next door. The bathroom, big couch. It's been really good. Our next chapter is on board. Living on the boat in the boatyard that's what we usually do anyway. It's been luxury not living on the boat. It's our car. This has been our view. Oh, it's so hot outside, it's fogging up the camera. <laughs> this is the other unit. This is where the kids were. Well, Belle slept over with us sometimes. Taj was in here. It was a really nice place. Really great. And all our total boat. <laughs> Thanks, total boat. We will be putting that on in a few weeks or <laughs> we may put the base coat on a little bit earlier but we've got to let our boat dry out so that's a job for later. But we picked that up last time we went to Phoenix like crazy on Amazon and we bought a freezer and yeah we, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight coming back so it'll be a little bit hilarious. Let's go to Phoenix. Stop off at the boat. It's a good on our way, on our way to Arizona. How do you think we're gonna go guys fitting all that crap in this car? It's gonna be tired, I tell ya. <laughs> uh, in a hotel, we had a little bit of drama yesterday. It was, <laughs> it was pretty funny. We arrived in Arizona in Phoenix and we booked a place before we came and we thought that we were totally organized and we had somewhere to stay so we could get here, do all we needed to do. We got there, it was totally, it was super sketchy. We walked in there, the hallway stunk like cigarettes and other things, it was just, it was feral. But we got to our room and there was people in there. Like dodgy, the door was broken, people in there. And we decided to leave immediately. <laughs> and so we we booked a hotel and we are here now, which was a really great decision. It's so much better. We had a great night's sleep, but we are doing a challenge this morning. It's super hot outside. It's like hundred and something degrees. It's crazy weather here. Anyway, we decided we're going to do a challenge. So Lee has been <laughs> filling our bathtub up all morning and we are now full of ice and ready to um, do a challenge so who do you think is going to last the longest in the ice bath how many minutes do you think we're going to last and can Lee even get in there I reckon Sarah's going to nail it that's I'm not even I'm not even in this I'm probably a bit of a you know when it comes to cold water I got my money on Sarah she's got the biggest breath hold out of all of us for free diving Stamina. The stamina the for the cold. Pain tolerance. We are doing a family challenge this morning. We are going to have an ice bath. Oh, Sarah's going to be the longest in the ice bath. Who is going to last the longest? Lee reckons me. I kind of reckon it's hard because he has done an ice bath. He's the only one who's actually done one before. But I don't know, Bella's a bit of a competitive person yeah. at heart and she also is a very high pain tolerance. So. I don't know, that's might be on Honestly, don't think I can do it. <sighs> you got it, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is about my breath. Oh, I'm gonna need to breathe, that's cold. Okay, okay, I got this. I got it. For all you people that have just tuned in, Sarah is not having a water birth. <gasps> It's ice. Oh my god! No, I think I've got to get out, darling. Well, look, 
I'm really gonna cry. It's all right, darling. It's cold. Ice cold emotions comes with the ice bath. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Let us know below who you think lasted the longest and we'll see if you were right in our next episode.